prepare yourself, for many will come to seek consolation, those who unfortunately ignored Our Lady's appeals at Mediagory. It is with great reverence that we proclaim. Praise be to our Lord Jesus Christ, and may our Mother, Mary Most Holy, be praised forever. Attention, there are limits that must not be crossed. Science, without God's guidance, has achieved worrying feats such as cloning, the creation of artificial wombs, and even the development of aberrations. But what does this really mean? When science operates without moral constraints, it becomes capable of anything, including challenging the very principles of life. And where does God stand in all this? He remains silent while the world sinks deeper and deeper into its own transgressions. We are approaching the triumph of the Immaculate Heart of Mary. In the midst of disease, war, economic crisis, hunger, and the constant struggle for survival, we are witnessing the emergence of solidarity networks and a significant increase in prayer. Before, many didn't dedicate themselves to it. But now, in times of despair, they turn to faith and spiritual union like never before. Notice how God's intervention reveals itself powerfully and effectively in the most difficult times. A purifier is needed, but this is the time of the triumph of the Immaculate Heart of Mary, amidst the dark backdrop of lights going off and on, as we face the last act of this great drama, war. Today, our mission is simple but essential, to give love and to bear witness to that love. Many more hearts will be converted, rest assured. In a message from Our Lady Queen of Peace in the 1990s, she spoke about the importance of love. In order to face the challenges that lie ahead, we need to be secure and firm in our faith, strengthened by the divine force that guides and sustains us. It is this strength coming from God that turns us into points of reference, even when evil seems to prevail. However, when the situation is reversed, the triumph of the Immaculate Heart of Mary will be revealed. The Lord, who knows hearts, knows how to open them. We cannot remain inert. We need to live this time with faith and action, building networks of love and hope, being living witnesses to God's love. The loss is great, but it is our duty to remind everyone that there is a way out. Christian hope never dies, because we know that God is by our side. And through our prayer and example, we can help open hearts. Our Lady Queen of Peace has been urging us to do this since the beginning of the apparitions in Mediagory. In a message given to the visionary Miriana on May 2, 2006, Our Lady said, Dear children, I come to you as mother. I come with an open heart full of love for you. These words resonate as a constant reminder that, even in the darkest times, the love of Our Lady and God is always present, guiding us towards the light. Purify your heart of everything that prevents you from welcoming me fully. In this way, you will be able to experience my love and the love of my son. My heart's desire is to triumph, and I want to achieve this victory through you. I invite you to take part in this journey of faith and surrender. Our Lady has revealed that she has come to Mediagory to complete what she began at Fatima, and has affirmed that her immaculate heart will undoubtedly triumph. Recently, in Mediagory, she testified that the moment of the triumph of our mother's heart is drawing ever closer. This triumph will happen especially through priests, who play a crucial role in this divine mission. That is why it is essential that we pray for them. I can't reveal any more details at the moment, but I want you to understand the importance of this spiritual preparation. In a message given to the Seer Miriana on January 2, 2012, our Lady left us a beautiful teaching. She said, Dear children, as I look at your hearts with maternal care, I see in them pain and suffering, wounds from the past and an incessant search for something more. I realize that many of my children want to be happy, but they don't know how. The answer lies in opening up to the Father. This is the true path to happiness, because God the Father never abandons His children, especially in times of pain and despair. When you understand and accept this truth, you will find the happiness you so desperately seek. Your search will finally have come to an end. These words of Our Lady are an invitation to deeply understand that true peace and joy come from a sincere surrender to God. She guides us to abandon the wounds of the past 
and to trust in God's paternal love, which always guides us towards fullness and lasting happiness. You will be able to love without fear. Your life will become a living expression of hope and truth, reflecting the essence of my son. Thank you for this. Pray for those whom my son has chosen to fulfill his mission. Remember that judgment is not up to us, because everyone will be judged at the right time. This is the message of Our Lady, Queen of Peace, in Mediagory. In this testimony, Our Lady warns us that we are approaching the triumph of our mother's heart. These words were reiterated by the visionary Miriana a few years ago, emphasizing that the time of triumph is closer than we ever thought. Is there any doubt about that? What we have been experiencing recently speaks for itself. What have you seen on the news, whether on television, the internet, or in the newspapers? Everything points to the fulfillment of Our Lady's warnings at Fatima. At Fatima, Our Lady revealed to the little shepherds that Russia would spread its errors throughout the world. Isn't that exactly what she said? If you heed my requests, Russia will be converted and there will be peace, she declared. But if the requests were not heeded, Russia would spread its errors, promoting wars and persecution of the church. And now, we are seeing this prophecy unfold before our eyes. The war between Russia and Ukraine is a clear reflection of this. Countries allied with Ukraine, such as many NATO members, have united to defend it, refusing Russia's aggressive actions and imposing severe sanctions. This scenario has generated a great deal of anger in Vladimir Putin, who has long carried deep resentment. The situation has escalated to the point of a direct clash between Russia and the United States, with other countries such as the United Kingdom, France, and Germany also joining the sanctions against Russia. What we are witnessing is a time of great global tension, where Our Lady's warnings seem more pertinent than ever. It is a time for prayer, for seeking peace, and for standing firm in faith, knowing that, despite the adversities, the triumph of the Immaculate Heart of Mary is drawing near. We are living through a time of extreme gravity, with potentially catastrophic consequences for the world. All this was warned about by Our Lady at Fatima. Are we now witnessing the fulfillment of the prophecies she revealed? Russia, as predicted, is already spreading its errors before our eyes, and the impact is evident. Faced with this reality, what more do we need to believe? Don't wait for any more signs. You just have to believe, because everything Our Lady has said is unfolding before us in a clear and undeniable way. Thank you to everyone who has followed me to the end of this video. I ask you to share the messages from heaven with as many people as possible, because those who share also participate in evangelization. In this time of so much uncertainty, it is crucial that divine messages are known by all of humanity. I invite you to unite now in the powerful prayer of St. Michael the Archangel, a prayer that should be prayed daily. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our refuge against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we beseech you. And you, Prince of the Heavenly Militia, by divine power, cast Satan and all the evil spirits who roam the world to the perdition of souls and to hell. In times like these, prayer and faith are our greatest defenses. May St. Michael the Archangel protect and guide us, strengthening us in the spiritual battle we face every day. O oh Mary, come to our aid, for time is short. Mother of Mercy, extend your protective mantle over us. We know that you are powerful to save us in all our needs and dangers. When human help runs out and earthly forces fail, we entrust ourselves entirely to your protection, for your help is never lacking. As devoted children, we present our fervent supplications before you, certain that you will not despise them. Show us that you are truly our mother, especially where our needs are greatest and our trials most intense. O oh Mary, help us without delay. Come to our aid, Mother of Mercy, and may your presence always strengthen and guide us. Amen. Thank you for watching this video. Leave your like and subscribe to the Living Hope channel on YouTube. Activate notifications by clicking on the bell to receive other publications.